What's going on everybody? It's you bro. Hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to show you all how we can create a basic calculator using Python. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you wouldn't mind, please like, comment, and subscribe. One like equals one prayer for the YouTube algorithm. Let's create a calculator. After importing tkinter, we'll need to define three separate functions. Our first function will be named button press, and there is one parameter which we will call num. We're not going to fill this in quite yet. We'll get back to it later. We'll use pass as a placeholder. We'll also need an equals function to calculate our expression and a function to clear our calculator. Okay, that's it for our three functions. Let's create a window. Window equals tk. And at the end of our program, we'll write window.main loop. Let's set a title. Window.title. Calculator. Program's good. But make sure you spell title right. And let's set a geometry of 500 by 500 should be decent. Now we're going to create a string named equation text equals a set of quotes. This will effectively be empty for the time being and we'll need to create a string var and I will call this equation label equals string var. Let's create a label, label equals label. We're adding our label to our window. I will set our text variable equal to our equation label. You can pick a font if you wish. I'll set the background color equal to white. A width of 24. And a height of 2. And we need to finish this by using label.pack. And we should have a blank label within our calculator. This will display our numbers that we're entering in, or our expression. Okay, this is the tedious part. We have to create all of the buttons. And I think we should place these all within a frame. Frame equals frame. We're adding our frame to our window. Frame.pack. Now let's create button 1. We'll do some copying and pasting later so it's not as tedious. So button one equals button. We're adding our button to our frame. I'll set the text equal to one, the height equal to four, and the width equal to nine. And a font size of 35. Okay, we'll need a command. Command equals, I'll write a lambda function here, lambda, we will call button press. Actually, I think I'm going to put this on the next line just so it's easier to read. Button press and we will pass in the number one. And we need to add our button to our frame. Button one dot grid. And I'm going to set a row equal to zero and a column equal to zero. And let's just test it. Okay, let's add the other buttons. I'm going to copy and paste everything that we have for button one and change button one to button two, set the text equal to two, pass in two to button press. And for the row and column, I'm going to set the column equal to one, but keep row the same. Okay, button three. It's gonna be the same process really. So text equals three, button press three, Row zero, column two. And button four. Text equals four, button press four, column. Actually, let's set this to row one, column zero. And I need to change that too. Okay, let's just double check this. Okay, button five. So button five, text equals five, button press five, 
and let's set column equal to one. Okay, number six. I told you all this is going to be tedious. Okay, so row one, column two. Button seven. Okay, so row two, column two. Actually, let's change that to column zero. Much better. Okay, button eight. Eight, 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 eight. Row two, column one. Number nine. Row two, column two. And lastly, zero. So button zero, text equals zero, button press, pass in zero. And this will be row three, column zero. Okay, not too bad. Now let's fill in some of the symbols. So we need plus. I'm just going to rename this as plus. The text will equal the plus sign, put that within quotes. And button press will be plus. Oh, and we should probably put this in a row and column. So let's say row zero, column three. So it should be on the right hand side here. Okay, we need minus. Let's change plus to minus. And place this at row one, column three. We need multiply. That is an asterisk. Row two, column three. And divide. That is a forward slash. Row three, column three. I promise we're near the end of creating these buttons. We'll need an equal sign. Let's say equal, equal, text is the equal sign, and our command is going to be equals the function. And this will be row three, column two. We need a decimal. Let's change the text to a decimal. Row three, column one. Okay, and lastly, we just need a clear button. Let's put this at the bottom. So clear, clear, let's set the text equal to the word clear, and the command will be our clear function. And I think I'm going to pack this at the end, but let's change frame to window. Okay, let's check out all these buttons. Okay, not too bad. I think I'm gonna change the width on our clear button so it's a little bit wider. Let's change the width to 12. That's a little bit better. Okay, let's fill in some of these functions. 
Let's start with button press. We're going to state global equation text. Then our equation text is equal to equation text plus we're converting whatever number or symbol that we receive to a string. And our equation label, which is a string var, will be set to our equation text. And let's test this. So we can type in any combination of numbers or symbols. Okay, let's work on our equals function next. So let's say global equation text total equals eval. Now eval will parse the expression that we pass in. Equation text and our equation label will be set to whatever our total is. And if we want to reuse our total, let's set our equation text equal to total. 2 plus 2 equals 4, minus 3 equals 1, times 5 equals 5, divided by 2 equals 2.5. Now, what if we divide by 0? Well, we'll run into that ugly zero division error. So let's write our code within a try and accept block. So I'm going to indent some of this. And let's write try all of this code, and we will catch a zero division error exception. So accept zero division error. And I will set our equation label set, let's say, arithmetic error equation text equals a set of quotes. Okay, so we should be able to catch this exception now. 5 divided by 0 equals arithmetic error. Now what if we have a syntax error? Like we type in just a bunch of symbols and hit equals we'll probably want to catch the syntax error as well. So let's write an additional accept block before zero division error, or after, I guess it doesn't matter. Accept syntax error, and let's change arithmetic to syntax, and we can keep equation text the same. So now our program won't crash if we type in a bunch of symbols. Syntax error. Now let's work on the clear button. So that is within the clear function. So we will set global equation text equation label dot set to a set of quotes to effectively clear it and our equation text equal to a set of quotes as well. And that should be it for this program. Let's run this one last time. Let's say 3.14 times 2.1 equals 6.594 divided by 2.1 equals 3.14 minus 1. I'm just making up numbers here. Plus 10 equals 12.14. And let's clear this and start again. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals 10. I think that's good enough. All right, everybody. So that's how to create a basic calculator in Python. I will post all of my code in the comments section down below if you would like a copy for yourself. But yeah, that's how to create a basic calculator using Python. Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. If you learned something new, then help me help you in three easy steps by smashing that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.